Hi, my name is Greg Koopman, and today I'll be speaking about selecting a random row sampling from a large table. Overview The problem creating the SQL query based on the version of SQL Server to pull a limited number of rows that are randomly distributed from a large table. The solution query patterns for SQL Server versions pre 2008 and versions 2008 and after. Okay, we're going to go ahead right into the code here and um, what we're going to, what, again, just to explain what we're trying to do here is when you test or do proof of concepts, a lot of times you just want something very small but it needs to kind of represent uh, a larger uh, set of data um, or a very large set of data but you, you don't want to deal with large sets of data are bulky and they are slow to respond and it makes your development cycle uh, longer so you'd like to take the exact same um, structure and data but in a very much smaller sample of it so that you can uh, develop and test and, and, and iterate through your tests quickly um, and then once you get your code working the way you want, uh, then you can go ahead and escalate that code up to a larger database uh, testing, testing system and make sure then that it also scales properly for performance reasons. Okay, so that's what we're trying to do here. So I have a, a table here that's a 517 million rows. And, um, and I'm going to run a couple queries here just to show you a couple things before we start. But um, this this table is 570 million, I mean, 517 million rows, and really, you know, that, to do a lot of stuff with that kind of row set, you know, it's much slower. So, um, I want about 600,000 rows. Okay, that I can work with and get tests done pretty darn quick. Um, but 600. So, what? How do I write the query to pull those 600 rows? You know, I know it goes over three years of data right and I know I, I, I want to see you know I want to see something fairly evenly distributed kind of like the real state the large data set so how do I so I have to have some randomness in my selection of those 600,000 rows uh, so I can't skew it to something or other you know some like to a product ID or to a date I need it to just go out there and randomly grab these rows these 600,000 rows and make it representative of the uh, 517 million rows okay so there's two different ways this can we can do this we can do it um, if you're pre uh, if, if your version of SQL Server is uh, before 2008 uh, and well 2000 and 2005 anyways um, you have to you don't have a, a special clause in your select that you could use so you have to run a uh, little bit different way of doing that. I'm going to go through that. And then when you get to SQL Server 2008 and higher, you can use a table sample clause in your a select command. And I'm going to demonstrate that too. Um, but anyways, we're going to look at the distribution before we start here. Um, and then we're going to go kick into uh, actually pr creating those tables. Okay, so it looks like our distribution's back. And as we see here, we have 517 million rows here, okay? So I have 517 rows here, as you can see, and that's distributed over three years at 164 million, 148 million, 205 million. We're gonna come back to this later. But these numbers, um, you know, when we come up to our 600,000, I want them to be kind of divided the same way, where they're allocated, for, you know, it can't be exactly or anything like, well, they won't be exactly, but. They, I need them to kind of look similar in their relationships to each other, okay? You could get more intense with your how many things you group by and all this, but this is this is okay for me. Okay, so that's our step one. We've already done, the, you know, kind of reviewed the data and what we're going to do. Now, the next step, we need to find a number that we're going to use um, to in our formula for the... We're going to first do the... Uh, SQL Server 2000 to 2005 version of this uh, query. And for that, we need to uh, have a denominator for a modulo, okay? 
so to get that we take our number our our grand total here and we divide that by the number that of rows we want to return or get close to returning so I want to return 600,000 so you see my 600,000 and I have 500 and I have 517 million so I divide that and it equals 600 862 so we look at this again and we have 517 million and I want 600,000 rows return so I divide this uh, by 600,000 rows and I it comes out to six eight hundred and sixty two okay and that's going to be used as my denominator in the next equation okay so we're going to go down to the next and this is the pre 2008 version way of doing it and also this can be a little bit more exact because this goes and does its randomness by row okay okay and uh, and when the old the newer version does it but it does it by page so if you have so it does random pages not random rows so this is down to the most granular level for the randomness so this actually should be more exact for being random than the the page um, the the next one so anyways so here we are we're gonna run this query we do a select into this table so it's random sample table pre 2008 and we're gonna say where um, a binary checksum it's gonna take the binary checksum um, of a GUID that's generated for each row and it's going to take that number and cast it as an integer okay and divide that integer by 862 and whatever the remainder is the remainder has to equal one so really one over 862 is a percentage which is it comes down to like 0.12 or something like that of a percent or 0.0012 and when you take that and you multiply it by 517,000, you get your 600,000 or close to it. So anyways, let's run that. I want to do a select into, so we're going to run it out to that table. Okay, that query uh, completed. It took, a, what, about um, <clears throat> 2 minutes and 35, 35 seconds to run. You know, there's, a, there's some functions in here. I didn't check the query plan, but, you know, it probably didn't use much indexes or anything like that. It, it, you know it's 517 million rows it's probably scanned it all and um you know two two minutes 35 seconds it's, it's only run once so okay right, that's pretty good so we we should have our 600,000 or so uh rows inside our 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 um temp table here so let's look at those and let's look at and this let's look at them in general how they look so uh so we got here we go 600,156 I said it wasn't gonna be exact and it isn't but that's it doesn't have to be exact we just wanted to get near 600,000 and then the data is here online sales key okay you know nothing too exciting but you know all the data is in there uh, which is what we wanted and um, everything looks pretty cool okay we can always bring this back so we can work with that table later but that's not what the essence of that's not the point of this this particular video I have other videos for you know that take this and go further um, but anyways that's what I wanted to show you so that uh, I, I want you to point out that took two minutes and 35 seconds okay uh, so let's just note that here uh, let's see took to 35 that's right okay to run now that's that's what how they did it before um, 2008, this is the only way, not the only way, but you, they didn't have a, a special command for it, okay? Now in 2008, they came out with the table sample um, clause. Now what's the table sample clause does, um, this table, san <laughs> table Santa Claus, the table sample clause um, lets you state at the end of the query uh, how many you want to sample how many uh, rows you want to sample okay so I want to sample 600,000 all right and I want to put them into random sample 2008 and after okay so our names are descriptive okay so let's go ahead actually let's just run them all no we'll run that first to see how long that takes 
Now this does it randomly by pages, which, you know, a page is a heck of a lot bigger than a row, okay? A page can have, in this case, a page probably has uh, 600 rows in it, okay? So, or maybe not that many, but um, it has a lot of rows in each page. So, when you're going by page, you're doing a lot, it's going to be a lot quicker than if you go row by row, okay? Row by agonizing row, right? Okay, so here we go. We're, this is by pages, and this should go pretty quick to get our, our result. So here we go. All right, just press the pause button, and it came back eight seconds to get our 600,000 rows into that temp table versus a two. 235 right so let me just point that out it took eight seconds so that's a plus but since it's not row by row your randomness might not be as random okay because it's taking big chunks of of rows at a time a lot of those rows um you know they're 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 put in at the same time or on the same pages so they might be some clumps together more okay uh, so anyways, let's just run the queries to see how many of this. Now when you go sample 600,000 rows, I think it gives you, oh, it also gives an estimated 600,000. It doesn't do exact. So you get 578,909. And again, just looking at the table, you can see that it, it looks good. You see all these random dates in here. The numbers are, as you see, they're not actually... Actually, it's kind of funny when you look at this. I know this isn't necessarily hot. It says a presentation. We see 825, 825, 825, 54, 54, 54. You know, it looks like it looks like pages. It looks like little clumps of data together. Okay. Um, so if you want to get really granular, I would go the old way. Even if you're in, in versions 2008 and forward, it's, I think it's better to do this one. This is more distributed, more random. Um, this the number three step three I'm gonna post this uh, little script over to um, uh, on the internet and yeah I have a link underneath the description area of this YouTube video but okay so basically that's uh that's it so we got our I just want to show you how you get that data and of course you could you know you could have a create a table and select into it you know uh, you can do anything with this I just want to show you the guts of it how you how you can get that randomness now let's just run one more query here and compare. We're going to take a look, and again, this isn't very granular, but it it will suit some purposes here. So let's just see if we got uh, everything ready here. So I'm going to execute um, all three queries, which gives the three years, and we should take be able to eyeball it and say, oh, this looks, you know, this looks pretty close, pretty good. It looks it looks like decent data. And it's random. It's not like everything's under 2009, and or, you know, and then nothing under 2010 and 11. I'm not sure what the date, uh, years were, but you know, they should look. They should look similar to the to the source tables aggregates, uh, just real much, 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 much smaller. Okay, so the results came back, and um, for our source table, you see we have 164, 148, 205 million for each. And here's our other tables, the one prior to 2008 and the one after 2008. And 190, 160, okay, so we got, so basically if we rank these guys, it'd be one, uh, 2009 would be first, and 2007, then 2008. So 2009, 2007, 2008, 2009, 2007. They all look good. I mean, they all have, um, you know, this... The sample for after 2008 looks a little bit wider at the top. Well, not necessarily. Uh, no, they, look, they all look about the same distribution. So um, I think they're great. Uh, so e e either way you want to use it, you can uh, go further in your analysis with these. Um, but this, these are good techniques, and I hope you can use them. Thank you. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Also, if you need help solving SQL Server problems, I offer a remote help service for writing code, configuration, and training. You can go to my website shown below for more information. I hope this video has helped you and made your day a little better. Thank you.